Welcome back to Living Well. We're talking feet and lasers with Dr. S. Chris Horine of the Neat Feet Podiatry Laser Center in San Jose. Thank you so Correct. much for joining us here on the show. And I want to ask you first off here about some of the new laser technology that your practice is using to kill nail fungus without medication. How's Absolutely, laser. This is a brand new technology that has a wavelength of this cold laser that goes through the nail and with the laser light kills the nail fungus underneath the nail. Uh, there's no pain, there's no downtime, and there's no side effects from this at all. How does the laser know how to do this? I, guess I don't know. It's this laser guru developed this. This guy's been working on it for 40 years and he developed this and it's uh, developed by a company called Pathalase in Chico, California, and it's absolutely amazing technology. I think we need to see it. And Wellness Secrets video crews went to your office yes. and captured the video of the laser, which you can see here. Uh, there's no pain, there's no drugs involved. Let's take a look. Hi, Orlando. I'm Dr. Horain. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. After 36 years, one of the greatest things that I have when I get up every morning and most every morning is to be with people, to help them with their, their foot problems. It's, it's very gratifying to be able to come in and provide help for people where they haven't been able to find it anywhere else. Good. I see we have a patient here for the laser treatment. Correct. Well, I think I bring a certain expertise in these areas, uh, mainly because of my experience of having an excellent training program here in California many, many years ago. There are a few areas that I feel I'm really specialized in to take care of foot problems. I'm gonna raise you up here, Orlando. Hey, uh, JD, nice to see you. One is bunionectomies. We have developed a wonderful technique to deal with these where people are back in their shoes and back to activity in a few weeks. Uh, and the other area is this new laser treatment for fungus toenails. We were able to get one of the first machines delivered outside the clinical trials. Uh, it's a great new technology that's easy to apply and seems to be very effective for um, a problem that's been difficult to treat in the past. We all have to have eye protection on with this particular kind of lasers. In, in patient care, I've dedicated my professional life to continue to stay on top of new technology, uh, deliver this in an appropriate way when, when needed. You should choose me as your podiatrist because of my experience, our team commitment to quality care, and with the latest technology, we can provide you with an improved quality of life. Well, the lasers look cool, and the sunglasses look cool as well. Don't they look great? One yeah. of the benefits. <laughs> uh, now, this is a one-time treatment? Yes, one-time treatment. It's 88% uh, effective in the clinical trials, and it's comparable to the drugs that have been on the market for about 12 years. The problems with the drugs is that they had a lot of side effects. Uh, you had to test patients for liver function. They had to take this pill for three months. So this is a non-medication treatment for the fungus that has been absolutely spectacular. This is one of the things that weren't really talked about outside of maybe people's families for a long time until that animated fungus guy came on TV yeah. with selling the, the drugs the for oral it. drugs, that's right. Those drugs, you say, do work eventually, but why is this a better alternative, really? Well, because there's no side effects from it. Uh, you don't have to do any uh, testing of the drug for liver function problems. You don't have to worry about skin allergies. And I've had these kind of problems in my patients because I've been using that other drug for about 10 or 12 years until this became available. You do so much more, though, than just lasers yes. and nail fungus in your practice. Uh, but I would be remiss if I didn't ask you, are you gelling? No. Okay, but does, <laughs> but does that stuff, because people think over the counter, you can go pick up stuff that'll help your feet immediately. Does that kind of stuff work, or that too only work up to a point? It can work in very simple cases, and where we run into problems is people keep using a product over and over again. Say they want to remove a wart, they may, you know, you had a little thing here about this stuff that freezes off, or if they put the light acid on. It can get into problems if they put it on too long. Well, I wonder because, yeah, I mean, I had uh, planter's wart and it was out running, and then it migrated to another foot, surprisingly. And yes. you, you try these type of over-the-counter things, and you know, they, they only work to a point, it seems. It will. The, like, this would work great on the top of the foot, where the skin is thin on the bottom of the foot. It actually would make it spread. And this is something that uh, freezing has been around for a long time. And there's much better treatments that are available now that are really comfortable that uh, I'll take away those kind of problems that the doctor applies himself. Well, one of the things that's also important for people to understand is that a lot of your overall health is related to the base. And Absolutely. the base is your feet. And I mean, even if you could show us with the model here, what are common things that people can maybe do 
to not have to visit a podiatrist immediately? What are some things preventative? One of the most common complaints that all podiatrists get or anybody that's dealing in foot problems is pain on the bottom of the heel. And that's where this ligament comes back and partially detaches from this back area. And there's some very simple things you can do. You can rest, you can stretch, and you can put ice on this. If you put ice on for six to eight minutes, that'll help to relieve that inflammation. If that doesn't clear it up in a few days, you really need to see your podiatrist because it has to be diagnosed correctly, and we do that in our office with diagnostic ultrasound, and then we treat it appropriately. And if, when we treat it, we can clear almost all of these up without surgery now which is absolutely incredible. We used to have to do surgery on about 10% of these, now it's less than 2%. Is foot exercise at all important in preventative medicine here? Exercise is important, and if your feet are a problem, you know this old adage, if your feet hurt, you hurt all over. When your feet hurt, you can't exercise. And particularly with our uh, population aging, becoming older, you need your feet to get around to be active on. And good foot health really promotes that kind of activity and results in a healthy lifestyle. What else can the lasers be useful with besides fungus? Are there other applications? This laser is specifically for fungus. I have another laser that many of us have used in dermatology for a long time, which is a CO2 laser, and that's to destroy things and burn things off. And of course, you have to have anesthesia for that and numb, numb it up. Um, so there's, each laser has a different property and is used differently. Yeah, I don't mean to bother you with the uh, troubles I was having with the Wartners freezing the thing off. Yes. I mean, like, it Did just, it go uh, away? No, and I had well, to like, cut it out with like nail clippers. And, stuff. Like, and I don't think that was the right thing to do, and that's why I'm bringing it up. Right? Great. You come in and see me and we'll get rid of it may need and to keep it. you running. <laughs> well, I hope to. If, yeah, I love, the information I need is at wellnesssecrets.tv. And if you want to visit Dr. Ho Ryan's office, well, listen, a consultation is on the way. All you need to do is call that number right there on your screen. He's in San Jose. And when we come back, Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Lawrence. It's really Real fun. I, I'll tell you, a final look is on the way at today's doctors and what we learned. We'll be right back. <laughs>